Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. In today's episode we are going to be looking at the foot champions. Did we hit elite? We were so close last weekend. Can we hit it this weekend? Can we go one step further? And we will also be doing the squad battles rewards. So the way I'm going to uh, approach it is squad battles first and then we'll be hopping right into the foot champions highlights which I did record with the team. You've seen the full team, you know the team. If you do watch The Road to Glory it's a really really nice team. We should be doing well with it and you'll see how we did get on. We had some really tough matches. I waited until Sunday evening till to play about seven games. We needed four wins from seven to actually uh, get Elite 3. Did we get it? You'll find out in this video. But let's see what we did actually pack in the squad battles rewards. So here we go then. On to the squad battles and the pre-order packs. Um, hopefully we, this can... Um, Brighten up the mood from yesterday. We did finish gold one, so I must have just scraped into gold one. Played a lot of squad battles due to the icon swaps. Um, didn't really enjoy it, but we get a premium gold pack, prime mixed players pack, jumbo premium gold pack, and 11,000 coins. So, is it worth it? I don't know, but I will be playing more because we need to still complete the MLS, um, which hopefully should be easier because we've got a decent team and the gold 83. So, the 83 and the MLS. We'll combine, so that's very, very nice. We'll save us a bit of time. We've got six packs, so we'll open the silver pack, and then we'll get onto the proper stuff because I've just been I just I just hope we can get something good from these packs. I've seen people get crazy packs from squad battles rewards. These will only be our second squad battles rewards of the year. Um that's a nice kit, the real salt lake. Um yeah, we've seen some people pack some crazy stuff, so they're the two pre-order packs. These are the squad battles rewards. Can we get a walkout from all of these packs? Probably not. The pack look has really gone downhill um, as of late. But I would love if we could actually get something good. Not even a board on the first one, so we get Lyic. We'll move on. I'm going to have a good think today about what team I'm going to be running in the future. Whether we're going to keep it the same. Whether we're going to make changes. I don't know as of yet. That will probably be in uh, tomorrow's Road to Glory video. It just depends. If we get something crazy from these packs, obviously that will massively help us change the team. I feel like there's just in the, a few of them games towards the end. I think this is a board. Yeah, we get a board at least. That's nice. Italian. Who's this going to be? Goalkeeper. That Buffon. No. It's, uh, what's he called? Sirigu. 84 Sirigu. Not so bad. Um, beat someone decent in there, like Philippe Anderson or something. We get John Stones. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. We'll send all them to the transfer list. It's rough at the moment. The team did really well. I just felt like in some games they were... I wasn't getting anything from the attackers, it's really weird, but I did love the attackers at the start. Here's the prime pack, it's from Squad Battles. It's a board, so we'll get another board, be something good, Brazilian. Oh, I was hoping for, is that Felipe Anderson? It's Felipe Anderson! Oh my god, I was just talking about him, please go for like 40k still. That's crazy because the last Squad Battles rewards, we got Felipe Anderson as well. So 40,000 coins he goes for. I'm thinking of getting a left mid Brazilian, but it's not Felipe Anderson. Felipe Anderson is by far the best player in the pack. He goes for around 30,000 coins now, so I will absolutely take that. That is brilliant. Shows the squad battles sometimes, you know. We we stressed ourselves out. We lost two games in squad battles to the AI. So, yeah, it's, it's not, not the end of the world now. So we get two red gold packs. Let's see what we can get from these. Two pre-order packs. Obviously, we bought the ultimate edition of the game. Can we get a board at least? At least, I'd expect it. Well, that's not a board, is it? Nope. So the first one, I'm finally learning how to tell if it's a board or not. We get Vasquez. Terrible. And the last one, these packs never give out for me. I've got the, um, I've got the pre-order edition every year, and never get anything decent from the packs. I think the first one we did actually, uh, I think from one of them this year we got something decent. But other than other than that, I've never really got anything good. Can that be the? Uh, Jinx that I need to get a walkout please here. No, that's going way too fast, isn't it? Yeah, that's a shame. From the pre-order packs, you don't get anything good. They actually are rubbish. Not worth the money. It's just down to look at the end of the day. 25k pack is just no good. And we get Unai Emery. That's, that's about it for that pack. You cannot believe. If you spent 25,000 coins on this pack, that is so disappointing. But Unai Emery, we'll get rid of you. Some decent kits there. Uh, Monaco kit is nice, and that Aston Villa kit is nice as well. So send them all to the transfer. Let's see if they do sell, and I'll send the rest to the club. So that is it for the reward section of the video. We'll go back 
and uh, see what's happening on the road to glory. So as you saw, we did get very, very nice squad battles rewards. Once again, Felipe Anderson, he is that guy for me in um, squad battles rewards. And hopefully we'll get some decent squad battles rewards this week. But as I said earlier, these games were from the Sunday evening. And it gets off to a horrendous start. We go behind 1-0. Amazing, not an amazing goal, just a goal by... Uh, Martial, amazing goal by Hyungmin Son though. He was turning up for me last night. He is so important. 400,000 coins. I really do value the card. He he wasn't giving up though. Nabri puts me on the floor. That is so poor defending from me. I really shouldn't be sliding in. And Serge Nabri, when I face him, just like Usman Dembele, he is so hard to deal with. I don't know whether it's just wingers that I struggle to deal with, but he makes it 2-1. And yeah, we, we didn't win this game. He does, in fact, make it 3-1. That icon, Rude Hullet, even though it's the baby card, it is so good. And we do end up rage quitting. I was quite annoyed first game of the day. But we have a few games that we can lose. So it wasn't the end of the world. We come up against this team. Bundesliga teams are very, very meta this year. He's got Hernandez, who we absolutely love on this account. But we break through here. Kyung Min Son, look at this pace. 12th minute. He's absolutely flying. Left foot finish. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Hyung Min Son finishes every single time. He is so good in that department. I really love the card. But you see here, that is so poor from me. How he manages to get the ball back, I do not know. I think it's from Fernandinho. And Fernandinho is a guy that I'll be looking to upgrade maybe to a Pep Guardiola. Just a little update on the icon swaps. I have nine of them. So nine of the swap cards we do have. I don't know whether to wait, but look at that banger from Ericsson. He has always saved me in weekend league. But yeah, Pep Guardiola is an option. I'm probably talk more in tomorrow's video about who will actually take. Look at that spin from Mane in a lovely little setup to get Hyung Min Son the goal. This is exactly the sort of game that we needed after we've just taken a defeat. After I've just rage quitted, Mane's flying again. He's back. He sends him to the floor. Hyung Min Son gets a penalty. So. It was one of them things, penalties you will see feature very heavily in this video. Unfortunately, penalties were very heavily featured, but a great one there from uh, Salah. He scared me with making it 1-1 earlier, but we finish it up. Salah, 5-1. Perfect. It really, really was a great uh, start to the second game. In this one, he's got Samedo, Hyungmin Son, Ben Yedda, Sizogo, Idemilatao, Ramos. And I think I remember this game quite well. It was really hard to break the guy down. 109th minute, look at this. We score with Sadio Mane and I was just so relieved um, to actually get that goal in the 109th minute. I haven't put any other highlights in because I've flicked through all the game and it's literally just he attacks. Oh, it breaks, it breaks down. I attack, breaks down at the halfway line. So I couldn't just show 120 minutes or whatever of just that happening. But the annoying thing about this game was that wasn't the end. In 109 minutes, you really should be able to shut up shop. 117th minute, I've got the ball in the corner. And the annoying thing was, I just won the ball back from my... What is that pass from Canseo? I have no idea. And this this time, 119th minute, I'm panicking. I'm really panicking. I have no idea. I'm trying to win the ball back with Suzuko. He gets it to Hyung Min Son. It's 120 minutes and he's still got the ball, but he is so patient. To be fair to him, he was really patient. But look at this. I tackle the ball. It falls right back to his feet. Ndombele... Finishes on his right foot and I was just disgusted at the gameplay, at myself for passing the ball and his celebration. I was just so annoyed. 120 minutes he does score. It should have been This should have been the game we won. This would have made all the difference. It was just so stupid of me and it obviously goes to penalties and we get off to a great start. Actually save the first penalty. Mohamed Salah up next. Great penalty from him. I've sped up the penalties so we're not waiting forever to watch them go through but Mane... Mane, 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 Mane. What am I doing? Like, what? That was a great penalty, but what am I doing moving it all over the place? I'm really nervous, as you can tell. I didn't want to lose another game. Um, Salah, what am I doing? Why am I taking so long? You can tell I'm so nervous because I wouldn't normally take this long, and that's really easy for Courtois. It just makes it really easy for him to guess which way I'm going. He scores, so we're both level now. Sizoko, oh, very lucky with that penalty, but... Yeah, he, he was a very good player, and you could tell he wanted the penalties almost. Christian Eriksen, though, he is just amazing on this game, but he doesn't score that, unfortunately. So we're tied again. He scores with Son. What's going to happen? Is it Fernandinho who's going to let us down? What am I doing there? So lucky. That is just ridiculous luck. Semedo for him. I save it, so we've got a chance. I, I think if we score this, we win. Alaba, I'm so predictable where I'm putting it. You can see the head exactly where it's going. 
Sergio Ramos scores for him and look at this. Theo Hernandez. Tell me how this hits the bar. Tell me. That, how does that hit the bar? I guess because there's a big circle around it, but how does that hit the bar? It was nowhere near the top of the bar. And all of these games, I literally just went into one after another after another. And we've come against Bale, Usman, Sissoko, Koulibaly, Militao. Them two guys are just a rock in defence. Son to Eriksen, back to Son. How the hell? Sissoko has scored. Mo <laughs> Sissoko has scored for us. I, he never scores. And 20 minutes back, he scores with Eden Hazard. So... This game wasn't going to be easy. After taking a tough L, I wanted an easy game. Jao Cancel, down the side, cuts back. What does he do? It's that man Salah. That's what I wanted from Salah this weekend. He doesn't have the agility of Messi or the finishing of Messi. Even though he has like 90 finishing, it's just nowhere near as good as Messi's. But he's okay. He is a good player. I think the, some games he did go a bit missing. Look at that. Lovely play by uh, Alaba through the legs of the defender. Back to Mane. And Mane was very, very good. Summarising the players that we did use, uh, Hernandez was a standout for me. Salah and Mane. Mane was fantastic. He, his pace is ridiculous. His finishing also is so, so clutch. I think I do really like it. You see here, Salah. This was actually really nice from Salah. This was probably my best goal to score with Salah, maybe. Lovely little spin. And outside the foot shot, I think that was just a really nice goal. Now, yeah, I get a bit toxic here. Start dabbing on my opponents, but... I was just so frustrated to lose the previous game. I should not be giving the ball away. We go into the next game. He's got Fakir, Suarez, Usman, Hazard, Longley, Varane, Red Smedos. I knew he was going to be good. And I don't think I'll be saving my games for Sunday again. Because this guy was, to be fair, probably the best player we scored. We, we played against all weekend. He scores with Fakir. And I'm like, okay, he just made Fakir look like, um, I don't know, like Prime Rutola or something. He scores again. Suarez scores, it's 2-0, no, I'm thinking, right, we'll change up the team, we maybe go to a 3-5-2 or something, but that wasn't good enough, 39 minutes, Fakir again, look at this, Fakir with the skill moves, and he bangs one in, and I realise, this guy's too good for me, he's just way too good, so we go into the next game, Werner, Witzel, he's got um, Delaney, Longley, Semedo, he has red Semedo, it's like everyone we came up against had unbelievable teams, Hyungmin Son here though, in the 45th minute, what's he going to do, gets a little chance, doesn't score, so this was another game where there's no highlights because there was literally nothing happening. Salah so unlucky there. To Stegen is a pain in the backside. And you can see we go to penalties. Again, we get off to a great start though. <laughs> Lovely save by me there. And that is so lucky from Kyung Min Son. I think I could tell with this guy, he really wanted penalties, which was really weird. I missed there with Mane and I was so annoyed. Werner, down the middle, I don't think he was very good at penalties because he kept sort of putting exactly where he was going. Um, on the like moving the player's head you can see that he's going to the right I could tell straight away I'm trying to think is he realising that as well so look at that though from Sizogo hits the post I was so annoyed Vitzel so I think we're even on um, oh no I'm one ahead of him so I think I just have to score and we do score with Ericsson so penalties they're just a lottery at the end of the day it seemed like he really did want to go to penalties he was hardly having any shots anything like that you can see he had one shot I think it was and we're one win away from Elite 3. So we come up against this guy in the final game. If you told me I was going to play this guy in the final game to get Elite 3, I would have been so happy. 14 minutes in, we get a chance. Sadio Mane, lovely bit of skill moves there. Can he finish? No, he can't. What even was that? And I was thinking this was going to be an easy game. 65 minutes in, Christian Eriksen, free kicks, hits the post. I was like, oh my god, can the ball just not go in the, in the net? Because this guy was having no chances against me. He really wasn't having anything. I, I thought, I've, I've got this. I thought, this is Elite 3. Great block from Sanchez there. And I was like, right, everything is falling my way. It's, it's going so well. I just can't finish. And look at this. How does he miss there? 97 minutes. And now it was my time. It was my time to actually attack. And for once, be clinical. I thought this was I thought this was it. I thought this was the winning goal. Hyung Min Son back to Ericsson. Ericsson, lovely finesse goal. And I was so, so happy. Well... I scored and I was just emotionless because I thought, this isn't the end. It's only 102 minutes in. We've messed up before, so just don't get ahead of yourself. And I did go and switch straight to ultra defensive. I thought, right, let's just do it. We went to half time and extra time. He gets kick off. If he didn't get kick off, this would have been a different story. Look at this though. Look, why does it stop? It stops because the speed up lag. Speed up lag does occur. I'm not fast forwarding this. This is just natural and this is what happened. He, he scores and I was absolutely fuming. I can't lie. I was fuming. Can you imagine if that cost you top 100? If that cost you, um, I don't know, like qualification. This guy was 
unbelievable at penalties as well. He was so, so good. That was just heartbreaking for me to actually go down like that. Our four was putting my pens in decent spots as well. You can see here, Mane, that is top corner right there. Good penalty from him, but he was passing it around the back. As soon as he scored that goal, he was passing it around, wasting time. You could tell he wanted the penalties because he was very good at the penalties, which I don't know how people are so good. Their reactions must just be ridiculous, or maybe I'm just too... Um, too obvious where I'm putting my penalties, who knows, but some nice ones from me, so I was holding my nerve, even though we didn't score the first one, I'm thinking, right, I just need to save one, he goes down the middle, that is the most frustrating one not to save, Sizoko again, is he going to score, hit the post last time, I have no faith when it comes to these guys, with the guys which just have low penalties, you can see, what am I doing with the cursor, I probably should have paused it and done that D-pad glitch, uh, I think I saw on Twitter, if you use the D-pad, what is that man, that is just atrocious for a penalty, I... I don't know what's going on, but Inaki Williams comes up. How does he not save that? Larice doesn't save the penalty. I was I was so mad. I was really, really mad. And that is the elite dream over. We don't get elite for the second week in a row. One win away. We should have won. We should have probably finished elite one. If I was to win the matches, which I felt like I had a great chance of winning, elite one would be the finish now. I'm not just saying that. I actually genuinely do feel that I should have got elite one this weekend. I just can't concentrate. I was 3-0 up in one game. It ended 4-3 to my opponent. He even messaged me saying, I'm so sorry. Like, I hope that doesn't ruin your weekend. It shouldn't have ruined my weekend, though. I should have um, seen out that game in the 120th minute. I should have won this game if it wasn't for the speed-up lag. But we go again next weekend. That's the thing about FIFA. We go again next weekend. We have very, very nice gold one rewards coming to the channel, which will be really exciting on Thursday. But that is going to be it for today. And that is going to be the end of the Foot Champions Roundup for this week. So... I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, smash a like down below and subscribe for much more FIFA 20 content. But that is me done for now. See you all later.